All right, that's done. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Now head back to uh, Sapstroth to uh, get this quest done. You did it, rookies. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry that you didn't get the chance to see me take a turn. But the deal's a deal. Here's why they call me the Amazing Bounty Hunter. Because I'm from a quaint, quaint little village called Amazing. Oh, that was like <laughs> a slap in the face. It's strange how everyone I tell that has the same exact reaction. Wait a sec. Now that I think about it, I swear I've seen you all somewhere before. Well, never mind. Amazing men like myself pay no heed to minor details. Okay, then. Is that it for that? I think that's the end of that. I'm just gonna double check my guide to see if I'm not missing anything. Did I anticipate a reunion that's with the Tipos? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last one. Yeah, yeah, we're good now. Yeah, so... Let's just go to Sherilton. Let's get this in. The one at the end done. The one where we have to transport the end. I'm pretty sure the Poison Stinger quest could be activated at any time. So I'm not going to worry about that one too much. Maybe the shop has something rare for sale. A quick look wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. We'll, we'll probably go looking after this quest is cleared, though. Because I want to see if we get any money for this quest. We probably should. Oh, wow, look at this. I've never been anywhere like this before. Hey, there's too many people and it's super noisy. I think at this rate that we're doing every quest, we might not get the last party member today. We're definitely going to get the fifth, though. We're definitely going to have five party members. I don't know about the sixth, though. Ah, another one. My parents keep sending me these. They're nothing but portfolios of men they want me to marry. I keep telling them I don't want to get married yet, but they won't shut up about grandchildren. But of course, that's not your problem. Thanks for taking the time to del for delivering this. Is that the end of that? I think that's it? Is that the end of that quest? Yeah, it's the end of that. Alright. <laughs> we did get we didn't get any money. Oh, we got some money. Never mind. That was a good call then. So let's uh head to the weapon shop. And upgrade these shop levels. So it's leaves today. Double check if anything else is leaves. No. So we're gonna donate all the leaves to uh the weapon shop. Probably gonna upgrade armor, cause why not? We don't have any poison stingers, which sucks. But it be that way. I definitely care about all these shops. Ekor. Is this useful in anything else besides... I'm not going to sell that for now. I don't know if Ekor is useful in anything else. So I'm going to keep it for now. We'll see if it's useful in anything else. Yeah, it's good. That was a good use of my time, I'd say. Geofist, Dual Edge, Bastard Sword, and Mace. Hold up, hold up. We're not going to have money. Definitely get Mila's weapon and Jude's weapon. At minimum, and then we have to have money for armor. Oh, come on. I hate when that happens. I always... That happens, and I hate it. Sell all the weapons that are worse. And then we're definitely gonna... Armor shops right here. Mila already has the hard coat. So for defense, I wanna I wanna prioritize Elise. She already has the green ribbon, that's nice.
get this bronze helm for Alvin because we also want to focus on defense if we're doing like harder difficulties. Oh, that's perfect. Awesome. We did that. All right. <laughs> we had to sacrifice Alvin and Elise's weapons, but we got that done. All right. Let's see if we can activate some side quests before story stuff. Hey, are you? Huh? Could we help you with something? Uh, never mind. If you have something to say, you should say it loud and clear. You, uh, uh, I can't hear you. You need to speak more clearly. Wait, he might be. Okay. You look just like the criminals on the wanted posters. Oh no. I was afraid of that. You actually recognized us from those awful posters? I can't believe it. You can get over it later. Run. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, is that is that a quest? There's no way that was the quest. Oh, the runaways. Okay, to be continued. We'll continue that later then. They made me leave a screen. That actually makes sense. Okay, can I, um... I should buy... Is there, like, a food vendor? It's at the inn, of course. That's the Talus High Road. Probably isn't much side quest to start now, I don't think. I'll take another look around just to be sure, though. Alright, give me, give me some pudding. You can only buy one at a time. Got it. Alright. I have a lot of XP dishes so we can, like, lower the amount of grinding that needs to be done. I want to see if we can find any more side quests. Oh, there's some right here. Perfect. The weather here in Shelton sure is nicer than it is in Ajul. Did you come here from Ajul? We did. We came in through Sapstrath Sea Haven. Well, good on you for making it all this way. I bet going through that checkpoint wasn't much fun. Uh, it wasn't that bad. We used to be able to trade with Ajul freely. But now, with all these new regulations, it's almost impossible to do business. I've heard things are getting weird at Fort Gandala, too. I hear they're working on some kind of big-time spirit art. You think it's for war? It could well be. Between Rashigal and Ajul? But why? I'm sure you've seen how the King of Rashagul has been consolidating power around himself. While on the other hand, the King of Arjul is some great hero who united all of the tribes by force. Two strong rulers in two neighboring countries. It's only natural they'd start bumping against each other. There have been skirmishes, but we haven't had open war since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. Hey, this could be the business opportunity of a lifetime. <sighs> I'm sure it's possible. But the people who got greedy during the last war were the first ones to die. Yeah, you're right. These new inspections have been pretty devastating to our business already. Hey, don't let it get you down. War isn't a certainty yet. War, huh? All right, then. I think that's it for that quest. So there's actually someone we can trade these jet black feathers for. There is a use for them after all. You just have to go to some person to trade them and you get like rare items from them. Also, there's this person. Damn it, they got my cargo again. Getting my shipments through the military checkpoints is hard enough. If you have to deal with monster attacks too, I don't know how I'm going to get by. I wish I can get someone to wipe out the high road monsters for me. But who'd want a job like that? You'll do it. That's great. I heard the monsters live in the north branch of Sapstrad Sap High Road. 
Good luck, and in case you get killed, you should know that I can't afford to pay for your funerals. I think I know where that quest is. I think I know exactly where the monsters are. Watching these people haggle for merchandise sure is fascinating. I think I know where this one is. So there should be someone to trade jet black feathers with. Around here somewhere. Aren't they beautiful? Would you like one? All these flowers were handpicked this morning. I'll think about it. Where on earth is this jet black feather person? That I was told about. Is it you? Oh, is it on the bottom section? No, it can't be. No, it's right here. It should be. Oh, there he is. You know, there's so many people that it's hard to find some of them. <laughs> hey, it looks like you got your hands on something interesting there. Those are just the feathers I was looking for. Would you be able to will- Would you be willing to part over? Yeah, why not? Here, I'll make you a deal. These are jet black feathers. They're a highly valued item among certain collectors. If you could bring a bunch of them, I'd be happy to exchange them for equally valuable items of my own. How many did I get, though? Hey, did you hear? Darkwind's been spotted again. You mean that noble bandit who steals from the rich and gives to the poor? Noble? He attacked a large company cargo wagon. They say he butchered everyone on it. That guy is seriously disturbed. Ah, that's horrible. You be careful out there, you hear? How many did I give? Oh, it looks like you found some- Alright. Yeah, take them off your hands. Yes. Alright, what'll it be? I have 44. Yeah, I'll stave up. I'll <laughs> stave. I'll save up and do it later. Ah, there's no beating big cities. So many interesting things for a grown man to see and do. Alright, so we should eliminate those monsters. Trying to see if there's anything else to do, though. How's egg principle? If you leave an egg in an empty box and said egg gets crushed, the cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. 500 years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although, people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Since spirits have no apparent physical form, People weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the age of spirit arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. But even Professor Howe didn't see that coming. I like that that adds to the lore, the whole spirit art thing. This game is such good lore. So, northeast region, I guess? Oh, this is the deep wood. In the right area. Yeah, it's up there. Alright, so we're gonna want to go on that side. Mila's friends. I should have bought life bottles. I forgot again. You're going to Femmont to save your captured friends, right? We heard from Jude. Friends? Oh, you mean the four? They're not your friends? Well, in a sense, they do help me accomplish the things I need to do. Then they're your friends! Just like us! We'll help you too! Everybody get a hand in! <laughs> Thank, 
To think I'd find myself on the receiving end of encouragement. Yeah, at least it's very encouraging. What? At least give me some TP. I need it badly. Be gone. Polly Wiggle. Polly Wiggle. However you pronounce your name. I will slay you with my sword. It was gone. I got the Loot Liker title. Pretty neat. Alright, so I I could probably get there from here, right? Yeah, yeah, that that that's not too hard. Yo, I just wanna say, props to Tales of Zillia for having a fast travel option so early in the game. Because something I like Grace's F is my favorite Tales of game. Always nothing is gonna change how much I love Grace's F. But the one thing I do not like is the backtracking if you do like all the side quests. Grace's F is like it's just like, Chris is F, you get your shuttle, which is your fast travel option, so late in the game. So it's very tedious to have to like backtrack for side quests. So props to Tales of Zillia, and Zillia too for that matter. Props to Zillia that they gave you a fast travel option so early. Because it, it does make do going back to do side quests really fun. Which is kind of why in Chris is F, I didn't do every single side quest. Just because it got very tedious throughout the game just to go back and forth. I eventually platinumed the game, so, you know. I do love the game. And the game was platinum. As it should be. It truly deserved it. But, like, Zillia did really good by having a fast travel option so early that doing the side quest isn't tedious. So I like that. It's definitely a good thing Zillia did. Emerain. 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 is very strong. Also, something to mention that, um, it's kind of, it might be kind of obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Um, when you get later spirit arts, the higher the level of the spirit art, the stronger the spirit art, the, the shifting version is going to be. So, like, flare bomb from a flame ring is stronger than a flare bomb from fireball. It's the same art, but it's just a stronger flare bomb. And then Flare Bomb from a level 3 spell. There's like three levels of Wind Blade and Flare Bomb and Grave and Aqua Protection is what I'm getting at. But Aqua Protection only has one water spell, so actually there's not the water. But yeah, like there's three levels of Wind Blade and three levels of Flare Bomb, basically is what I'm getting at. Power of Maxwell is very strong. I right, climb up here and these should be the monsters. <laughs> Luckily we can fast travel back. We don't have to walk back. That's nice. How you guys doing? Prepare to die. Go, Sharing is caring. Here's through. Watch out. The guard's out. Don't worry. Not yet. How unfortunate. Okay, Earth is not good. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, Igneous Crush time. Oh, this is an Earth Blade. So my attacks are Earth. I, I just noticed that. <laughs> I forget that there are elemental weapons in this game. Most Tales of games, but still. Alright. Back to Sherilton. Again, doing every side quest isn't required. It's not something I'm gonna beat myself over, beat myself over, but I'm gonna do as many as I can. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. Most of the side quests will be done. I'm gonna do my best to try and not miss any, but I can't make any promises. Like we're about ready to head to the next part of Sheraton. We did it. Now I can finally transport my cargo without fear of monster attacks. Not paying your rewards gonna put me in a, even a deeper, even deeper in debt. 
If it's not one thing, it's another. A merchant's life is never easy. Yeah, I, I feel that. Where's the item shop? I want to buy some items before I forget. <laughs> Evermore. Before I keep forgetting, I just want to buy them. Specifically, I need life bottles, but I wouldn't hurt to get... Oh my goodness, that takes all my money. Yeah, we don't need lemon and pineapple gels yet. Alright then. 